YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. In this video, we're going to be doing my absolute favorite challenge, the no evidence challenge, which is a challenge where you have to figure out the ghost without getting any of the evidence. So you're going to have to use everything you've learned over all your hours playing this game about ghost abilities, strengths, weaknesses, and hidden abilities, and anything else you might know. All of that is going to be tested here. And the ghosts that we found in these runs were some of the hardest ghosts yet. I really had to put all my skills to the test, and I really hope you enjoy it. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. And let's hop into the game. Alrighty, here we are. So we have regular nightmare mode. The only difference is being evidence down to zero, the activity and or the activity and the sanity chart enabled. Uh, and I think that's it. Yeah, everything else is default. So we're just gonna head in there. I'm just gonna take in the EMF because the EMF is my favorite item for finding the ghost room. I love how how much this teaches you about the game. Like it really is the ultimate test. If you are good at Phasmo, like you will be able to do this. Uh, and if you've paid attention to like all the, <laughs> all the updates over I'm frozen in time what's going on there's been so many changes with the ghost so it's like a it's like a full-time job to keep up with this uh, keep up with all the ghosts but I guess that's why I exist so you don't have to do that shit I I uh, <laughs> keep track of all the ghosts so you don't have to okay so easy peasy uh, it's gonna be either dining kitchen utility living room or even basement so let's see I, I want to turn on the breaker Turn on the breaker. Uh, it's throwing in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Thought I turned this on. Thank you. It's gonna be a Yure. There's so many ghosts that could be incredibly annoying. I think it is... In the... Kitchen? Yes, kitchen. Okay. Perfect. Uh, immediately we gotta check for orbs. Because the orbs... Even though it is a zero evidence run, the Mimic will still give orbs, which is like the speed run to figuring out Mimic. And I've been bamboozled by that before. I've waited way too long to check for orbs and then gotten fooled. Uh, so we're going to check for orbs right away. That's going to be Mimic. Then I'm going to get some salt in there for the for the Wraith. Uh, I guess that's about it. Could bring in some candles. Some I don't know what a cursed item is. We have a random cursed item too. Mare is so annoying. I mean, Mare is... You can get an early hunt with a mare. Uh, I don't see that. All right, what do you got? Do you get orbs for me? Imagine, instant mimic. The easiest run of our life. Nope, doesn't look like it. So we can rule out mimic. The first ghost we're gonna rule out, gonna be mimic. Probably also rule out shade, because it shade doesn't really usually do that many throws right away. All right, can you give us a sign. Are you here? Are you hanging out? You ruled out twins? I clicked the wrong button. Whoopsie daisy. I'm stupid. Uh, it's in the basement, right? Am I... Is it music box? Or is it board? It is music box. Okay, that's gonna be a little tricky. I don't think we're gonna do that right away. I think I wanna have the breaker be on for a little while. So we can get the ghost room exactly. Oh, nice boner. They supposedly fixed the bones, but I've already found some impossible bones, so I still don't think... If you don't find the bone, this is very important, if you don't find the bone and you thought it was, like, impossible to find, make sure to note down the ghost room, like, uh, because in the stats afterwards, you can see what the room was that had the, the bone in it, so if you take note of that, you can bug report it. You found a book on- or you found a bone on top of a shelf in Sunny Meadows. That's so mean. Okay. It's walking. Uh, a lot. It's not- holy shit, that's a lot of feet. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, that's free money. Easy money. Uh, take that one too. Okay, so not a wraith is our second ghost we're gonna rule out. Now, how are we gonna do all of this? This teaches you- I actually need to, like, prepare for a ghost guide. I'm gonna do another ghost guide soon, which is gonna, uh, include all the newest ghosts, because my last ghost guide does not include any of the newest ghosts, so I need to do an updated one. Uh, but this is, like, good practice for that, because it, it- it really- because- this is why I love Phasmo, man. The fact that you have so many. Okay, well, that's all gone. Uh, now we just got to take the ghost photo with the remaining photos outside of the book. Because I'm going to probably try that during a hunt or something. I mean, we don't do it. need to do it during a hunt for Phantom, right? Uh, okay. 
So I think I'm going to trigger a hunt or at least get my sanity low enough. And then we're going to place the candles for an Unreal check. Usually how I go by this, obviously Revenant, Hantu, Dio, Moroi, Thay, Raichu, the twins. All these ghosts are going to be really obvious. Oh, it turned off the breaker. Not a Jin. Could be Hantu though. Uh, all of these ghosts are going to be really obvious during a hunt. And I like to knock those out early because, I mean, they're really easy to notice. Okay, so we're going to put that there. Put that there. Put the candles on top of the crucifixes because if it isn't on Rio, it can't use the crucifix. If there's a candle on top of it, it will instead blow out the candle. Uh, I'm also going to have to grab a smudge stick real quick. Uh, and then we're going to do the music box. We can do the music box ghost photo. That's true. I mean, we should have the music box. I didn't see it yet, but I assume my sanity is very high. We haven't gotten the ghost event yet. Yeah, Raichu can turn off the breaker because the Raichu doesn't have any power that's related to the breaker. What's our hiding spot? The Raichu does not get faster from the house lights. It's only equipment. Not a demon. It could be. There's no reason to rule out any early go hunting ghosts yet. Um, okay. Here we go. Uh, this is not a... I need to grab another photo cam. I forgot I used all... It's Lisa. It's Ruth Dixon, actually, but it's Lisa. Voodoo doll? I already checked for Voodoo doll. That's strange electronic logic. I mean, it is... Uh, it's not explained, I guess, but... Does it? Isn't it explained? Let's see. Um, isn't it... A right, you can siphon power from nearby electro electrical devices, making it move faster. So you could think that it is... Um, that that also means the light switch. I, I could see that. But anyway, uh, it did blow out this candle. It's also pretty active. Like, definitely not a shade, as we already ruled out. Might be an Oni still. We can all figure that out. There's so many ghosts you can figure out during a hunt now. They added Oni to the mix as well. All right, take the ghost photo. I might just run. How am I going to do this? You know what I could do? I could, because I have to have too many hands. Too many hands. I'm going to drop this back here. So that even in case I don't get to pick it up in time, we're still going to be fine. Because I can always loop around the car and then we'll be safe too. So I'm just going to drop this out here. Yes. If I buy a 4090, will the right should be faster? I mean, I don't think you can buy one of those anyway. Okay, here we go. I want to drop my sanity a little bit as well. So I'm waiting, listening to the song. Because as long as you listen to the song, your sanity is draining. Okay, it's definitely speeding up. It's not anything special though. Oh god. Are you stupid? Are you a yokai? What the hell was that? I'm gonna have to smudge. How did you lose track of me? Hello, ghost, you idiot. Come over here. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello? Oh, it's coming. Oh, Lord, she coming. Did anyone really pay attention to the blinking? Because I did not. Woo! Okay, gee, bitty Christmas. Uh, is it throwing enough for Poltergeist? We can rule out a lot. Holy shit. Uh, not a Raichu. Not a Moroi. Not a Dio. Not a Thay. Uh, not the Twins. Not a Hantu. Probably not a Myling. Not a Revenant. Not a Phantom. I don't think it's an Oni. Um, I don't think it's a poltergeist because it wasn't throwing enough during a hunt because you can now also figure out the poltergeist during a hunt Which wasn't possible previously. Uh, we can figure out demon and okay because we just smudged it We got to figure out demon and spirit now. Uh, how long has it been since the hunt? Uh, and like little over 40 seconds. Also, my sanity is at 40%. That's pretty perfect uh, That way we can I mean we, we already know it's not a I already know it's not a shade, right? Will I play Death Watch again? Have they done a new update? Because I did every map in that game. Can you give us a sign? 
You came from the dining room that time. I'm just gonna place one here. And one here. Oh, don't fall over now. Okay, give us a sign. It's been already a minute. The ghost might be able to hunt very soon now. Can you give us a sign, Mr. Ghost? Or Mrs. Ghost? Hello, hello. Gory, it's it's getting closer to the really shitty combo. The really shitty combo is Yurei, Gorio, Obake. Those are like really difficult to figure out. Okay, blew out the candle. Might be on Rio. Parmesan cheese, thank you for the prime. Can you give us a sign? It blew out both of those on Rio. Seems like I'm starting to believe. Can you give us a sign? It could probably hunt now if it's not a spirit. It's been a while. Come on, Ghost, what's your name? Ruth! Ruth Dixon, can you give us a sign? You are very shy right now. Okay, throwing some stuff. No more- oh. Uh, did it do that before or after? What? I don't know. It blew out the candle and then the crucifix was you. Oh my god. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> okay. It's definitely not a spirit. Because that wasn't long enough for the spirit. I think. Come on, use it again. Come on. I don't know. I'm not sure if that was. If I. If the candle went off and then it used the crucifix. Because that's like the on Rio ability. If it blows out a candle, it can then early hunt. So that... Can't really know for sure yet. Uh, Gorio! Ironically enough, the Gorio, you should be able to figure out Gorio by seeing if it doesn't roam. However, currently the Gorio is the opposite way around. The more it roams, the more likely it is to be a Gorio. This is confirmed by the devs finally. Holy shit. Um, that it is in fact, uh not working as intended. The Goryeo is accidentally... They wanted to make it not roam as much, but they've accidentally made it roam more, which is stupid as fuck, but at least we know. Uh, so, I mean, it's fine. It's just the opposite. <laughs> Didn't they supposedly fix that a couple patches ago? Didn't they supposedly fix that the bones were no longer gonna spawn in broken positions? Like, not to be rude, but they often fix stuff that they don't actually fix. Okay, it's not an Unreal because... This crucifix got used underneath the candle, which is impossible. Um, so Hantu is, is is no longer on the table. Uh, let's see. If it is a demon, this is probably... Oh, okay. It's definitely not a demon. Why are you so slow? You're weird. I'm smudging. Oh, God. Am I dead? I smudged you. You can't kill me. Okay. It's not a demon either, because that... It might be Poltergeist. Hey, you piece of shit! Definitely not a yokai. Uh, okay. Definitely not a yokai. Definitely not a demon. So we're down to Banshee, Mare, Yure, Goryo, Obake. This is where it's- this is hard mode. This is playing, uh, no evidence on hard mode. Uh, so now we're figuring- we should get our sanity up to exactly- can we do that? If we take two pills, we should have our sanity basically- yes, we just need to drop it a little bit and then we're in range of the mare so we can see if it's a mare or not. We should grab a, uh, Paramike for the Banshee. Yurei is just gonna be shit, and the Obake is gonna- The Obake is like the complete wildcard ghost. It just doesn't do anything. Um, that you can identify. It's the only ghost that doesn't have any behavior outside of the fingerprints, which is why I think the Obake is like the laziest and most boring ghost that has ever been added to Phasmo. I really don't like the Obake. Even- I mean, the Goryeo is my least favorite ghost in terms of like- playing against it, but the Gor- the- what did I say? Gorio is my least favorite ghost in terms of playing against it. 
But the Obake is the most boring ghost, in my opinion. Even bore, more boring than a Shade, because at least a Shade has, like, a defined behavior. But the Obake just doesn't do shit. Can you give us a sign? Oh, boy. Come on, ghosty pants. I want you to scream. Probably not a Gorio since it doesn't roam. I actually genuinely think that. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's not roaming. Um... Yure, it hasn't done a single Yure ability, like, nothing. Also, what you gotta be careful of is that the Yure ability can work both ways. It can work either opening the door or closing the door. So you kinda wanna keep the doors at, like, a 45-degree angle. Which is something... Pretty insane throw. Maybe it is a poltergeist. Right there. That's gonna fuck up my sanity, though, isn't it? I need to grab uh, another smudge stick. But no, thank you for the tier 2 19 months. Thank you. Okay, that is definitely... That definitely fucked up my sanity. Now we can't get hunted. Or, but if we turn on all the lights, we can't. So let's do that. Let's turn on all the lights. And then if we still get hunted, it's not a mare. It might be a poltergeist. I think... We might have to place some more items for Poltergeist. Okay, so turn on all the lights. Go, go, go. Okay, so if it hunts now, we know it's uh, not a mare. That's gonna be easy. Because the mare cannot hunt. If, if the lights are off, the mare can hunt at 60. If the lights are on, the mare can hunt at 40. Only hunt at 40, so that's perfect. Can you give us a sign? Can you do something? Do the paintings count as a throw? I don't think so. Maybe? I don't think they get thrown far. They always get dropped down. Um, can you give us a sign, ghosty pants? Maybe it is a mare. Keep the paramic ready. Yeah, I should probably just hold the paramic the whole time. Even though I could get hunted now. Banshee scream. I mean, we didn't... Oh, it's definitely not a... Definitely not a mare. It's not a poltergeist either. It's so not a polter. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to smudge. Get me out of here. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Holy fuck. Okay, not a poltergeist. So we learned it even more because it's not throwing enough at all. So it's not a poltergeist. It's not a mare. So it's either a banshee or a bake. I didn't do any singing ghost events, right? I'm actually inclined to say obake. Has it done singing ghost events? It did one? Okay, and then it did a red light ghost event. So it's, oh boy. It did do a singing ghost event? Okay, let's, now is we're pretty low sanity. So we, and we just smudged the ghost. So the ghost is gonna be angry. So we can hold the, throw this in there. Definitely not a demon. Come on. Yell at me. Do the scream. I dare you. But if it is a banshee, it should roam to my location, right? So it should change room. Yeah, that was a high. That was a high spike. Can you give us a sign? I think. It, oh, ghost went. You know what we could do? We could sit back here, because banshees would would eventually go to me, which would be very uncharacteristic for a obake. If I sit out here and all of a sudden I get. Okay, that makes me believe not banshee. Can you give us a sign? My cards are probably on Obake. Which is kind of crazy to I mean, you can technically figure out Obake during a no evidence run if you rule out every single other ghost. Okay. That's a high spike. Holy fuck. It can even scream at you during a hunt. 69.9. <laughs> Perfect. Do it again. Oh no, it's coming. <laughs> That's nice. See? 82? These are some insane values. Come on, give me 69. I want to screenshot it. Oh, come on. 
It's two whispers. I think I'm going Obake. Two whispers. It could be Banshee, but it's now less likely. It could still be Yure technically too. There's like ghosts you can never technically rule out, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go with that. So Obake is I mean it's like a I would say like a 35% chance that it is Obake, which is about as significant as we can make this without spending an infinite. Because if you spend an infinite amount of time, yes, you can figure it out eventually, but I think I'm going to go with this. Welcome back. It's the it's only the Gorio, Gorio that doesn't roam? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They never roam when you want to! <laughs> you piece of garbage. How many times did they change favorite room? Maybe they just changed favorite room between the two of them a lot. Okay. Okay. See? That's what I mean. It's still broken. We just didn't see it because it changed between the same rooms. It did two favorite room changes. I just didn't see that. It was time out of the... Fa you see how... So it is still fine. It's still like working broken as intended not intended you see 10 11 minutes out of the favorite room so it was roaming for more than half the game and it was it changed the favorite room twice so it was an agor agorio but we just didn't see it because it only changed favorite room between the two uh the dining and the kitchen which is not that easy to notify but anyway so yeah if it was a little bit more obvious uh we could have figured that out let's go to willow now that was, a, that was still a pretty good run. I don't feel too bad about that. That was just a just a smart little Gorio. Smart little Gorio don't ro not roaming enough. Broken as intended. Exactly. Alrighty, here we go. Uh Justin Ramirez. Let's 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 go. Let's do it. Grab grab our trusty EMF for the no evidence run. Why does he do it? Gorio is garbage. I mean Gorio, that's the thing. I'd say what are hard ghosts for this? Banshee, Gorio. Obake, Yure. Those are the only four ghosts. Maris can be annoying, but usually not. If you get any of those four ghosts, you're you're kind of fucked. But I mean, you can still kind of figure it out with like a pretty decent guess, but you can never 100% know unless you get like the Banshee scream or something. But like, if it's not a Banshee, that's the thing. If it is a Banshee, you can get the Banshee scream. But if it's not a Banshee, you can never rule out Banshee because you could still get the Banshee scream later on, right? That's the thing. That's why it's... That's why it's kind of dumb. Uh, can you give us a sign, Mr. Ghost? What is it? Is it tarot cards? Music box? Mirror? Mirror would be nice. But, like, it's, it's still crazy that you can almost... You can almost 100% of the time do a no evidence run and get the right answer. That's, like... That's a testament to how amazing this game is. Like, how well designed this game is. Oh, God. That is not what we wanted to see, but we can use it later on. Can you give us a sign? Just start with the normal investigation. Don't go too crazy. Don't immediately start using the, the, the summoning circle because it's going to make everything feel weird. And you can't really suss out the behavior easily anymore. It might actually be a shade. This is very unlikely, uh, unusual. Walking through the house and not getting anything to happen. Hello? I could grab a paramic. Imagine we get a Banshee scream right away. That would technically be the fastest you could ever beat Phasmo. The fastest any percent speed run imaginable would be you walking into the house with a paramic, getting an instant Banshee scream, and then leaving. That would be the fastest you can play this game. I don't think there's... Because there's nothing that could give itself away faster. Whether this chance for a Banshee scream, they're extremely rare. So it is almost impossible. You just watch a YouTube clip of that happening. Well, there you go. If you just grind for that, you eventually get the world record. You could, you could get the world record if you just put in enough time. Okay, let's see if we can find it with the Paramic instead. Or, I mean, the band, the demon hunt is not faster because you have to wait up the hunt. Oh. Living room? Living room? Seems like living room to me. Okay. Living room? Really? This is how we figure it out? Can you give us a sign? Are you here? Check for orbs. Check for orbs for the mimic. 
If it's here, it's no mimic. Hello, ghost. Are you here? I might be wrong. Let's grab a thermo. This incredibly shy ghost. Salt Wraith? Salt Wraith is not as fast as... I mean, technically, it could be as fast if the ghost is, like, right at the entrance, but that is, like... That's too lucky. Okay. Uh, we'll bring in a candle as well. It's snowing. So if it's gonna be in a Hantu, we're gonna be in the world of pain. Let's see. 20% of all paranormal sounds and 40%... Oh, yeah. So it's definitely here. It's actually here? What the hell? It's a shade. Genuinely shade. Do I just go? It's the shadiest ghost of all time. That was not a... What the fuck? Hello, do something else. I don't know. I don't know for sure yet. We might just... You know what we could do? Wait, I got a plan. I got an insane plan to speedrun shade. If it is a shade, what we could do is... Drop our sanity using the uh, summoning circle to right around. So if we light three candles, we're going to lose 32, uh, 48% sanity, which is enough to drop us below uh, 50%, but not enough to drop us below 35 because the shade can only hunt at 35% sanity. So if we, oh, we turn on the television. Maybe it's just, maybe it just needed some time. Oh, Jesus. Also, we can try this. In before Wraith. The bo boring Wraith. Nope, not a Wraith. Okay. Uh, let's try this. I, I I believe in this. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Here we go. One, two, three. So we're not gonna finish it. Every sanity, every candle you light drops your sanity by 16. Oh boy. And that is gonna drop my sanity! Jeez! I hate it here. Turn that shit off, it's annoying. <laughs> You're such an asshole! <gasps> Check for Mimic? We already checked! No, 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 no. I, we, we're just... Okay, so we are now too low sanity, which is annoying. We're gonna have to eat one pill and light another candle. Then we're gonna be good again. Okay, so light one... Or we could just wait for it to drop. You know what? We could just wait for it to drop. I think that's better. Because we're gonna get hunted before we reach 35, right? If it's a normal ghost. So let's see. Come on. Give us a sign, you piece of garbage. You're walking around, having a great time. I'm gonna drop this over here. I did not check for hiding spot yet. You definitely... Oh, wait, no, we had a hiding spot back there. All right, can you talk to me? Can you give us a sign? Definitely. So what good ghost can we already rule out? Not a wraith. Not the mimic, because we had no orbs. Um, and that's about it. Can you give us a sign? Can you scream if you're a banshee? That'd be crazy. Let's do it right away. Uh, okay then. Not an Oni. I mean, it could be. Hello there. Evil ghost. Evil sounds. Can you give us a sign? Okay, you're throwing stuff back there. Is orb still in, in no evidence? Yes, if it is a mimic only. Well, obviously. Which I still think is such a cool idea. The mimic is like... The difference between a ghost like the Mimic and Obake, I can't believe those were added so close together. Like, the Obake genuinely dumbfounded how this ghost made it into the game. The only thing it has is a special fingerprint, that's all. And nothing else. And, uh, whereas the Mimic is like a whole freaking crazy ghost that can become anything. And not just can it become anything, it also has, like, orbs, uh... <laughs> Which, as a special evidence, as well as obviously taking over all of the other ghosts. And it turned on the light just now. So it's not a mare. We don't have to worry about mare anymore. Because mares cannot turn on lights. So perfect. I mean, it's unlikely to be Banshee with this many screams. That are not Banshee screams. Yeah, I just think they... I think they could definitely do something about Obake. They just gotta change it, because like what it says here, Obake are terrifying shapeshifters capable of taking on many forms. They have been seen taking on humanoid shapes to attract their prey. It's just not true. Imagine when you play multiplayer 
the Obake turns into your teammate during a hunt. You know how fucking cool that would be? I don't understand really why they won't do that. Because when I asked the devs about that, the reason why they didn't do that is because it would be too obvious. I think that's a terrible argument. You know what else is obvious? Phantom during a hunt. You know what else is obvious? Oni during a hunt. Twins during a hunt. They during a hunt. Dio during a hunt. Moro during a hunt. Raichu during a hunt. Myling. Revenant. Hantu. It's not an argument that you can figure out a ghost during a hunt. Like, all the ghosts are obvious if you know what you're looking for. So it's like, come on. <laughs> It's like, it's not an argument to make it go so boring. Oh, no. <gasps> I hate it here. <laughs> I think still it's probably not a, a shade. Let's see. Um, what is my sanity now? <gasps> it's perfect. It's a perfect sanity. Okay. So now we just need to stay in the light. And if the ghost doesn't hunt for a while... We know it's a shade, but it's like really weird for not. I don't think it's a shade anymore. Like it's doing way too much, but still. But that's what we're tunnel visioning on, right? We're tunnel visioning on shade at the moment. Do I have a candle in here? I should have a candle in here. I can grab this candle. Do active for a shade? That's what you think. Have you? You have seen some. Sh I've seen some shit, man. Okay. Holding the candle. No drop of any sanity on my watch. Can you give us a sign? Oh, we got a candle here, too. I, I want this candle. This one's better. Hello? Singing ghost event. I'm leaving. If it is a banshee, our sanity is now fucked. Okay, my heartbeat is, is, is having a great time. I should probably have taken a ghost photo there. Uh, nope, it's not a banshee. So it's 100% not a banshee because we got a singing ghost event. That's how you can rule out banshee. If you get a singing ghost event, you knew what your sanity was before the singing ghost event, and you check your sanity after the singing ghost event, and it didn't change, you know it's not a banshee, because the banshee will drop your sanity with a singing ghost, whereas no other ghost will actually drop your sanity when you're using a singing ghost, when it does a singing ghost event. Definitely not a demon, because it is not, um, it's not, a uh, not hunting, which is really, really suspicious. Or, like, impossible to be a demon, basically. Um, okay, I was gonna do something else. Oh, yeah, take a photo. I should really take a photo. Can you give us a sign? I mean, the fact that it hasn't hunted yet, even though we're below 50% sanity for this long, I think it actually might... Um, I have to run away. If you dodge the ghost, if you get away from it and it never touches you, and then the ghost event stops, it doesn't actually drain your sanity. But if the ghost walks to you and it touches you and it does, like, a go... Oh! Oh, fuck me. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so it's not the shade after all. He's lost in the sauce. <laughs> what an idiot. I know we can hide here. Okay, so there's a lot of ghosts. I don't know if it's a... Is a Hantu? Get the fuck out of here. We need to see our sanity. Go, 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 go. Not a Dio. There's uh, oh, there's a lot of ghosts we can rule out. Now, I don't know if we can rule out the twins yet, though. Because it, it sounded a little slow. No miling? I'm not, the little, miling is you gotta kind of pay attention to that closer. Okay, so we gotta hunt at 40%, which means it cannot be a shade, because a shade can only hunt at 35%. So shade is off the table. Uh, Phantom is off the table. Revenant's off the table. They, Dio, Moro could still be it because our sanity is really high. Uh, Haunt, okay, so I need to focus on Hantu, Myling, Moro, Twins, stuff like that. Not a rev? Yes, not a rev. Oni is off the table, I think so, yes, but I gotta pay a little bit more attention. Yeah, this is, I mean, it definitely does a lot of ghost event. Like, it, it became active after a little bit. It just needed to, to warm up a little bit. Oh, perfect. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> You're so stupid. It's not a Moroi. We don't know. What the fuck? Okay, it's definitely not an Oni. Jesus Christ, I'm not a phantom either. Smudge it and go. I'm dead. Never mind. Holy fuck, that was terrifying. Okay. So it's not a phantom. Not a Hantu either, because it's sped up during the hunt. It's not a Raichu, because I tested that. Uh, okay. 
It's also, we should check for Yoka. Is it twins? The Moroi curse! Yeah, you're right. The Moroi curse because we got Paramike. Yeah, you're totally right. The Moroi can curse you both with the spirit box and the Paramike. And we got some screams and our sanity did not go down. So it's not a Moroi. You're totally right. Okay, perfect. This is a very good round. It's actually kind of a sneaky ghost. Uh, I need to grab another smudge. Also, we can rule out uh, spirit, right? Because it roamed, it did too, it hunted too quick after the, after, okay, let's see. How long has it been? It's been like 40 seconds. So at around uh, like 45 seconds more, basically. Okay, can you give us a sign? What a ghost. What are you? What are you? Definitely not an Oni. Also, my sanity just dropped. Um, it could hunt in 20 seconds if it is not a spirit, which I think it's gonna. Not a djinn. It's not a mare, so we don't... Man, you're crazy. <laughs> you're fucking nuts. The Gorio. Don't give me don't give me this combo again. This is actually like oh it's not the gin. Smudge it. Okay, so it's not the gin, it's not the spirit. Noted. Not the spirit. Not the gin. I need to do a yokai test. It's a miling? Oh no, I, I killed myself. I think actually it might be a miling. Because we did not hear anything until the ghost got close to us. Th those are the ghosts. Like, miling, oni, uh, jin, the twins. Like, those are the ghosts you kind of have to pay attention to a little bit more closely. Uh, I think we're gonna just get a, sm uh, get a hunt from the, the, the summoning circle. And then listen closely if it's a miling or not. Because that was definitely very quiet. Also, lots of whispers, which explains that too. Because that's actually another thing the miling can do. Uh, that it can do a lot of whispers. Uh, it can make uh, paranormal sounds more frequently. I think we're probably got a miling here. Let's do one hunt to confirm it. Just so we can all pay attention at the same time. Instead of... Uh, like, after the I smudged the ghost, it was going to be hard to know. Let's see. Go, go, go. Boom, 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 boom. Kiss him on the lips. Mwah. Bye. Okay. Get out of there. Get out of the basement! That's terrifying! That's such a miling! What the hell? <laughs> what the heck, man? This ninja killer. That's creepy. I love it. You're gonna stop hunt. Oh no, it's a curse hunt. We did it. This is another hard ghost, though. This has been a actually like super educational but also i like that still even though last round was a gorio because it was still in the stats in the stats you could still confirm that it was roaming more than other ghosts right because let's compare it to this ghost let's compare it to this ghost obviously it's a miling it's incredibly quiet like it was you could hear the throws and the door touches before we even heard the ghost at all um and then let's see how much this ghost changed favorite room and stuff if you compare that, it's just a one example, obviously. Uh, six. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, this ghost did uh, zero favorite room changes. And time. Look at that. Look at that difference. That is. <laughs> like, obviously, it's just a one example, but time in the favorite room, 12 minutes. Time out of the favorite room, only four minutes. This is. It's three times more in the favorite room, whereas Gorio, the ghost that's supposed to be in the room, was. 
less in the favor less in the favor room than it was out of the favor room so yeah the goryeo is definitely upside down right now but at least we know that okay so there you go that was an awesome run very educational let's hop back in we're gonna do uh let's do edgefield this time i, I love edgefield as a I, I think the street houses are the like the street houses are the maps i tend to go to the most just because i i don't know the vibe in there is is very i like them okay uh julie julie camper Let's go. What are we gonna get this time? Tarot cards. <laughs> okay. That's gonna suck. Hopefully not Obake or Goryeo. Hey, I, I don't mind. At this point, we're hardened by the fire. All these runs have been really difficult. It actually has me using like all the things. Instead of going like, oh, it's the twin, it's the twins. Let's get out of here. You actually have to pay attention. Can you give us a sign? Oh, no hiding spot. <clears throat> what are the ghosts you can safely loop around a table or a couch? Dio, Hantu when it's warm temperatures. Thay when it's old. So after you've been close to the ghost for a while. Um. Oh. Hi there. Hi there. Ghost back here. That's actually a decent ghost room. We can see if it roams out of there. At least it's not hallway. Hallway would suck here. Um, I think that's it. The mimic, I guess, if it's one of those, but that's not really reliable. Um, okay. We bring in this. We bring in the cam right away because we want to check for m mimic. And then we bring in crucifix. And Rev is also technically because the Rev doesn't speed up beyond Rev speed, which is kind of sad to say. Because if you can break line of sight, it's actually really easy. Like if you break... Oh! Is it moving? Let it be known. Let it be known that this is a mimic and I am out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we needed a little bit of respite from all the craziness. But yeah, one freebie. Thank you. Thank you, ghost. I love you. I'm out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> Instant mimic. Ew, Mimo. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's a speed run. Just hide your orbs. What the? I was talking about this. I jinxed it. There you go. That's how. That's. That's uh, even with look at the difficulty. Even with zero evidence given, you still get the orbs. Also, also good to remember. Okay, I'm gonna just keep it. Uh, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Go Tangle. Tanglewood best map. My most played map in the game. Definitely. I mean, according to the stats, and I know that for sure. Okay, we got Joseph Camper. We just had Julie Camper. We now have Joseph Camper. Is this another mimic? Two mimic. The team of mimics. The Mimic family. Campers in a row. Oh, what's their cursed item? Oh, I heard that. In here. It sounded like it was somewhere. Close by. Maybe nursery? Yeah, you can have a true zero evidence run now, which is... Uh, I'm always get bamboozled somehow. This is why the, the EMF is so important. Because I wouldn't have known that it wasn't in any of these rooms. Okay, we got a hiding spot. Beautiful. Um, tarot cards? What do we have? No tarot cards. Yeah, custom difficulty. Okay, we got a voodoo doll. Uh, I'm gonna just do it once. Okay. Boy's bedroom, I think. We can actually get the... Wait, you could probably... Aha. Uh -huh. You could actually... Wait a minute. You could rule out... Mare. If you remove all the items from the ghost room. And then you start using the voodoo doll. It has a much higher likelihood of using the light switch. Then you could rule out Mare that way. You could actually use the voodoo doll. But anyway. Um, it's not that useful. But hey, if you ever need it, that's the thing. There's so many things I thought, there's so many things that are like not useful like 99% of the time, but if you get it to work one time, you pog. It's like, oh my God. 
I'm insane. Yeah, it's gonna use the door nine times. Remove the door somehow. Another mimic. It's not a mimic. We have been freed. Back to hard ghosts. We get one freebie. Now it's madness. Um, drop this. And a crucifix. Crucifix, if, please stay in this room. Don't be a Goryeo. Can you give us a sign? I turn on the breaker, right? I didn't, or did the ghost turn off the breaker? Did I just not turn on the breaker for some reason? Nice boner. I might have not turned it on. No, oh, I definitely did not turn it on. Hips don't lie. Okay. It's walking. Wraith. Nope. Okay, not a wraith. Can you give us a sign? Can you show yourself? It's not a mimic either, because no orbs. Um, Phantom we could rule out. Probably not a poltergeist. Hello, ghost. Could you do something? I would appreciate that. Who would place their trash can like this? What is this psycho trash can? How the fuck you even use that? This is like behind your computer, completely out of range of your desk. <laughs> what kind of psychopath is using that trash can? Wait, where, where did you throw that? What the heck? It knocked on the window. And it threw something else somewhere further? I'm not entirely sure now. Can you give us a sign? You are very quiet. I might just go voodoo. To go crazy with it. You know what? I'm going voodoo. And we could... Because voodoo... Should drop our sanity into a nice range. Or we can get a few... We can rule out a few things. Uh, bring in a candle and a smudge stick. Thomas Wills. Okay. Why do you need a trash can all the time? I mean, you place your trash can in such a way you can... It's not an Oni. Jeebus. Hello? That you can throw stuff in it, right? <laughs> That's kind of the idea of a trash can. You don't place it like far away from you or like in an unreachable spot okay so not an oni now we're in some trouble okay it's still walking in there i'm gonna oh nice dude I'm gonna put this over here turn off that radio stop it and i'm gonna grab another photo cam before we do before we do the rest Probably a shade? No, I think we can actually almost rule out shade based on... Our sanity is very good for mares and stuff. Um, let's grab one more of this. I guess we might as well pick this. The Feng Shui Master. I don't think trash cans are Feng Shui. Okay, uh, light you. Where that food doodle right there. Okay. Perfect. I didn't grab another photo cam. That's what I wanted to get. I was like, I needed to get something. Grab it. And what else? Motion sensor? Sure thing. Not under the desk. No. Because they're unreachable. I mean you if the, the computer wasn't on that side, it's fine. But with the computer here, like you're gonna have to go around? I guess you could, but it's just stupid. I don't agree with it. This is... This is bad trash can at ethics. Unacceptable trash can. Blows out candles. It actually <laughs> fucking worked. Oh god. All right, we're 
we're definitely low enough to get hunted now. So we can rule out on Rio. So we can rule out Mare as well. Nice. Let's go. Actually, we should be low, right? What are we at? We are at... Even Shades can hunt now, so we should be alright. Come on, ghosty pants. It's your time to shine. On me. Are you on Rio? Are you a little mad? You are also very airbally. Are you like a phantom trying to hide the, the obvious evidence? Okay, it's not. Oh, it used the crucifix? Oh, no, it didn't. It threw something. Can you give us a sign? What is my last? Repel the ghost? Already ghosty friend. Got this. Give us a sign. Use the crucifix. We know you can hunt. Give us a sign. Come on, ghost. Do it. Use the crucifix. Are you just an on Rio? It's. You're definitely not! I love that they allow you to take crucifix photos now. That's great. Um, right, give me a sign. I'm actually gonna drop this out here to see if it, like, this should still stop a demon from hunting. I'm just gonna put those over there. If it's a demon, this should still kind of prevent it most of the time. Maybe one time if it's like in the very corner. Okay. Uh, it's fast. It's like a, it's a gin, I think. Yep, it's a gin. <laughs> Let's go! Easy peasy! Look at that! The, it's so obvious. It's it's sped up like crazy. Alright, get smudged. I'm out of here. Let's go. Alrighty, gin. So this is one of the more subtle uh, ghosts that you can figure out during a hunt. You have to set up the breaker to be on, and you have to like have a s significant distance between you and the ghost so you can hear the speed up very obvious. Because right there, as soon as he came around the corner, you heard boom, 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 boom. Like it, it went from normal speed. Did I uh, feel it? It went from normal speed to like a crazy fast speed. How do you know the difference between Jin and Rev? Because the Rev will be slow outside of hunt, like outside of I'm the chase, the whereas the gin will be normal outside of a chase. So there you go. It's frozen in time. I want to check the roaming stats again. Roaming stats on that one, very low out of the favorite room. What? Something was bugged. Excuse me? It was in the same room the whole time? How the fuck did it change favorite room five times? What? Excuse me. What's happening? That's insane. Five times? I don't even know what the hell. Okay, anyway. <laughs> how was that? Five times in how long was this mission? Nine minutes? What the hell? Can I get it? No, I can't get it. All right, anyway. Let's uh, do another round. Uh, Let's do... You know what? Tango would just like... I'm just doing it again. I don't give a shit. I don't give a heck. Tango was the place to do it. Oh boy, we got Jay Roswell. Okay. Does it count when it follows you during a ghost event, you mean? I don't know. That's, that's weird. That definitely... Because it was in the same room. Oh no. It's a foyer ghost. I hate it here. Those are real mean. Okay, well at least... At least we found out early. Please just be a mimic again, and I can get out of here. <laughs> no, it's fine. And maybe it'll roam in a different room. All right, we grab this. You know the drill at this point. We grab this, this, and a cruise bridge. What's my sanity? It's like 80%. My screenshot folder, dude. I have, like, so many screenshots. I gotta, like... 
make a Phasmo Geo Guesser off of just my screenshots. Starting with the oldest in the oldest screenshots. Okay, it's definitely not a mimic unless it's in a different room now. Up that. Just built the wall of salt. Show them all. A video where I go through all my screenshots. <laughs> okay, so that's that. We bring in a candle and a smudge stick. This stuff goes wrong. Why is it always heavy rain? Why does the game hate me? Here you go. Touching up doors. We got this one. Oops. Got that one. Uh, okay, just that one. That's okay. Hi right, right there. And it is not a wraith. It's winter action. Fuck! I couldn't take the photo in time. Was this singing ghost spin or was that that was a whisper? Right. That was not a two interaction. It was way too far apart. Also, what is this spike? Pathetic spike for a ghost event? What the hell? Okay, we need a motion sensor and a paramic. My guess is phantom. Well, we'll have to take the photo then. Does the Tanglewood scream still exist? No, that's like age old. It's, it's a long time since the Tanglewood scream existed. It drove me absolutely crazy. Up this over here. Can you give us a sign? Can you scream? Imagine that I... I definitely think it was a good change. Like, even though it was nice to be able to walk out of the house when the ghost started its hunt, it's definitely made the game more scary to not be able to do that. Because it was kind of stupid. Like, in a situation like this, I could just sit here with a paramic and just walk out of the house as soon as it hunts. That's how what you used to be able to do. Come on, ghost. Curse me if you're a moroi. Iron Apples on Pluto, thank you for the 20 months. Touch Toadie, thank you for the 3 months. Thrill Pop, thank you for the 7 months. Sheena with the 6 months. Joey Fisher with the 4 months. And Rulex with the 3 months. Thank you, guys. You've yet to see the Banshee screen. We got it recently, but... It's definitely extremely rare. And you give us a sign. Hey, bunny lover, what's up? Right, you want, don't want to talk to me, huh? You don't even want to give me a footstep. Hey, systolic box, what's up? Come on. Can we just get a hunt? I'm gonna drop my... Uh, favorite room change! Okay. Oh god, my sanity is definitely low enough now. Why are you still out here if that's your favorite room, you dickhead? Oh my god. Is that the twins? I think that's twins. It's too slow. It's like slightly off. So, the, the twins will have two speeds during hunts. One will be faster than a normal ghost, and one will be slower than a normal ghost. So, that one was faster or slower than a normal ghost. Now, let's do... It could also be Moroi, maybe. What's my sanity? Could also be Moroi. My sanity is pretty high, so it could be a Moroi. Uh, so, let's get another hunt. Oops. But uh, we used to mirror until it breaks, and then we'll see the difference. If it's fast, then we'll see. Uh, I turn off the breaker. You're a piece of shit. Click. More of it would be faster, 40%? I don't know. I think it's a Moroi. Is that Moroi or is it? That's Moroi, right? 
That is too fast for the twins. That is way too fast for the twins. That's a Mora. So yeah, there you go. The Mora will be slightly slower. Holy shit, this is crazy. You're crazy! Yeah, it does. I feel like it would be slightly faster at 0%, but it's definitely not a... It's way too fast for twins. There's no way. We could do the smudge test. You're right. We could do the smudge test. You know what? We're going like full all out on educational games. Let's do the smudge test. You're right. So what you can actually do against a... Um, I guess the Moro. The Moro has so many things. The Moro is another example of a really good ghost that they've added recently. I mean, they literally, literally every ghost they've added is good, except the Obake. The Obake and the Gorio are the only ghosts that I think they kind of dropped the ball on. Uh, and I would love to see a rework of the Obake. I think literally all they have to do, which is a big change, but it's really easy in the code, to make the ghost hunt as one of your teammates during a hunt. That would be crazy cool. Imagine being chased by... It's going to be so confusing... It's gonna lead to so many people dying. It's gonna be awesome. Like it, it's probably like as obvious as it would be in especially single player. It would lead to so many people getting killed. Like it would be probably the most dangerous ghost in the game in multiplayer. Like if you're not with like a super pro team. Like imagine, imagine you just see your friend walk around and then because especially now with the footstep change where the footsteps of the ghosts are the same as the footsteps of the players. It would be crazy. That would be so cool. That's like the fix they have to do. All right, smudge it, so now we wait. See how long it's walking around? See how long it's walking around? That's crazy. So that's why you can tell it's a Mora. It roamed around for so long. Oh god, that's much again. Because the Morai gets smudged twice as long as normal ghosts. Gonna check the curse with the paramic. I mean, I was trying to get it to do something on the paramic, but I didn't. <laughs> I could have checked that, but yeah, I I couldn't get a paramic noise. Alrighty, beautiful. Okay. People don't talk during hunts, so yeah, it would actually be so good. I think genuinely have no idea why they didn't do that. I was more right. I ge genuinely confused because it seems like they wanted to because in the notes it says that it will take on humanoid shapes. It's just like it just felt like they forgot. They were like it was it feels like they were doing like a meeting like what kind of cool ghost can we add? Let's compare the stats again before we before we continue. Uh, two favorite room changes? Again, a lot. And four, this is a kind of a roamy ghost. Uh, interesting. Okay, uh, let's do... I, I mean, I'm just addicted right now to Tanglewood. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just having a great time. Um, I feel like they were talking about that, and then they went like... And then one of them went like, no, that would be too obvious. And then the rest was like, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, totally, totally, totally. Like, it felt like it was like a one one guy kind of situation <laughs> where one opinion kind of overtook the other opinions that, in my opinion, would lead to a more... Because it's a game. You're trying to... You're not trying to optimize difficulty. You're trying to optimize fun. And holy shit, would it be cool to have a shape-shifting ghost? Like, that would be... That would be something we've never seen before. I know they're probably going to add it to its own ghost eventually. But, like, I don't know why Obake gets so shafted. Like, why make Obake so... I was like, I saw the door of the breaker open. What the fuck? Okay, it's here. That's annoying. Like, what they talked about, I st just don't understand. Because we were talking about this, like... And then they were like, okay, what we maybe could do is that during a hunt for one frame, it will change into another ghost type. And I'm like, why? <laughs> like, why make your why make your life so difficult? Just make it become a human. Like, I know it's obvious, but you know how sick that would be? 
I guess the coolest thing that we have in the game. It would be it would be become so many people's favorite ghost if you did that. How would it work in single player? It would still work in single player. You would just it would just be obvious. Like in single player, it would be obvious. Yes, but still, I don't think single player is like the thing you should balance the game around anyway. It's not orbs, so it's not the mimic. Okie dokie. Fifty-fifty. I mean, they could do. They can make it like rare, where they do. Like, if you really cared about that, you could do like every like. There's a fifty percent chance, or like a, even a twenty-five percent chance, whatever, uh, for the ghost to turn into a human during a hunt. Like, it doesn't have to be every time. Even though I think it could just be every time. Okay, it's not a wraith. Not a wraith, not the mimic. Can you give us a sign? Fuzzy circle, thank you for the prime. Other ghosts that need reworks desperately. So the rework list, honestly, I could make a video about this. Like the ghosts that need rework in Phasmophobia, in my opinion, Obake, Yure, Gorio, desperately need reworks. Um, like there's no, no, no questions asked. Revenant, I would love to see it be more scary. Uh, I think Revenant got kind of shafted. Mare is honestly okay. The I feel like the light ability they added for the Mare, where the light will turn off sometimes when you turn it on, is a little... Like... So the thing, if, if you have a ghost like a Mare, where it cannot turn on lights, it sometimes when you turn on the light will flick it off right away, and it has a hunting ability where it hunts more or less depending on the light states. Like, that's a, that's a behavior. Like, that's a ghost that got care put into it it is uh like um it has a very distinguished behavior it likes to break lights more often as well like it's like it's a ghost that has behavior like that's why i love Thay so much because Thay is like it tries to fight you out of the ghost room by being super active by doing many ghost events and stuff many hunts being aggressive being fast but then later on when it loses like when it gets weaker and weaker it starts to become like a shade which i think is really cool like the thay is my favorite ghost because there's such a distinguished design compared to like other ghosts uh, so i think mare is totally fine spirit spirit is spirit i think i kind of overlook spirit a lot because spirit is so easy to identify because it's not like the thing with Obake and Gorio and Yure is that they're not only kind of boring, they're also incredibly hard to identify. Because they they didn't just knock on the window upstairs, by the way. Because they're also uh they're they're boring and they're hard to identify. Which makes them like be on my radar constantly. Banshee? Banshee is totally fine. I can Banshee is an example of a ghost where, yes, they're annoying to identify during no evidence runs, but that's mostly because I play single player. In multiplayer, the Banshee is totally ba balanced. Like, it's a totally fine ghost. Um, even though it's annoying in single player, in, in multiplayer, it's totally fine. So I think that's all right. Um, and still, in single player... So if you want to know for sure if it's a Banshee, you can either get a uh, singing ghost event, go to the truck. So I think the te a testament of a cool ghost, a well-designed ghost in Phasmo is, is like, how do you make a cool ghost in Phasmo? You have to have a weakness, either a really cool weakness or a really cool strength, and then like a kind of throwaway weakness. Like the Mimic is kind of an example of that, right? The Mimic has an incredibly cool strength. It can turn into every ghost. It is kind of a throwaway weakness. I mean, it's still a pretty cool weakness. Uh, Raichu has a really cool strength, kind of a throwaway weakness. Uh, like the disrupting of the equipment is just like a little, it's like secondary to the to the ghost speed. Dio, really cool witness, or re witness, really cool strength. Uh, oh. Singing ghost event, not a phantom. Let's go to the truck. Um, it has a really cool strength, Dio, but the weakness is like, the only weakness it has is that it doesn't hunt uh, until 40% sanity, which is really simple, right? So either, so I think a ghost needs a really cool 
thing. Like something really cool and super distinct distinctive, such as the mimic, the Dio, the Thay has like a whole system, the revenant. Like it needs to have something really cool. Or it needs to be a ghost like the Banshee. Where you know what the Banshee does? The Banshee can early hunt or it can hunt based on only the target sanity, which is really cool. It only focuses the target, which is really cool. It does more singing ghost events, which is like special. Um, it ro has another hidden ability where it roams to the ghost. So either it needs to be super distinguished in my opinion, or it needs to have like a ton of stuff, such as Phantom, where it will disappear during a photo. It will blink less during a hunt. That's like really distinguished as well. Um, Mare has a ton of hidden stuff. Uh, things that you can figure out um what other ghosts have that I, I guess mare banshee are like good examples onis not being able to do airball having the good hunting ability doing more ghost events even shades honestly like shades not doing a lot of events uh and being so shy not being able to hunt when you're in the room not being able to do any item throws when you're in the room like there's a lot of stuff that makes these ghosts unique uh that's why i think gorio complete garbage ghost the only thing it does is not sh like the gorio is so boring the only thing it does is the dots that's the only thing and then this is literally a broken weakness it's literally a strength which i guess is fine right now because we know but anyway yure all it does is drop your sanity sometimes nothing else the weakness is so bullshit it's so boring is smudging the place of death will make it not roam you know how they could fix the yure do the opposite of this. Instead of making it stay in the ghost room when you smudge it, they should have it go far away from the ghost room when you smudge it. Because that would make it really identifiable because if you smudge the ghost and you place a motion sensor on the door and you see the ghost like run far away, all of a sudden you're like, oh, wait a minute, it's probably a Yure, which would already be a much cooler and also a much cooler ability in my opinion, because it's a lot more like thematic uh then another thing uh something like obake like it doesn't have a theme it's so boring like the, the obake can do two things it can leave a special fingerprint three things i guess it can leave a special fingerprint with six fingers it can um sometimes 25 percent of the time it won't leave a fingerprint and then the third thing it can do is that it can reduce all the timers so the fingerprint will stay active for a little bit the Obake can reduce the timer of all the fingerprints on the map by 50%. So it's like, it's fingerprints themed, which I guess is something, but it doesn't really, it's just not there in my opinion. Uh, Onryo is another ghost that I kind of give, give like, uh, like forgive a lot of its behavior because it's just so distinguishable. But I think it's still cool because it's so based around candles. The Onryo also has a lot of stuff. It can do... Um, I'm just like kind of wait. I guess I should trigger a hunt. I'm just like having a fun time talking as well while we're trying to like rule out Banshee, Myling, stuff like that. Um, the on Rio has the candle. If it blows out a candle, it can hunt. Um, at any sanity, it can hunt. When it blows out a candle, at any sanity, it can hunt. Um, but if there's can so. The Unreal by default can hunt at 60% sanity, unless there are candles, at which point the ghost cannot hunt because the candles will count as a crucifix. Um, was that a radio? No. Um, so it will have to blow out the candles, which is like, it's really candle themed. And then another thing, a really sneaky ability that it has, which is why it, I feel like there's so much care put into the Unreal, if it kills people in multiplayer, the more people it kills, the stronger its ability becomes, which is the only ghost that has that. It's the only ghost that gets a trigger off of people dying. Uh, when it blows out a candle, there's like a 50% chance that it hunts. The first three blowouts are free. After that, there's a 50% chance that it hunts. Uh, but every time it kills a player, that becomes more likely. After it killed two people, I think, that ability becomes a hundred percent. So if it ever blows out a candle, it'll immediately hunt, which is really cool. Like, obviously it doesn't really apply to me because I mostly play single player, but I don't think that's a fair reason to throw throw out the ghost. Like, I don't think it should 
I don't think a ghost has to be made for single player. I do, however, think that a good rule of thumb that they should keep is that the ghost should always have something that distinguishes it, even when you don't have any evidence items. Because I think, oh, that was a ghost event. Because I think that just leads to good ghost design. I think every ghost, like, because that leads to adding hidden abilities, doing extra weaknesses, extra like little quirks to the ghost. Um, Turn off the breaker just now, that's so annoying. Hello, ghost! Yeah, it's not a yokai? Wait. It's not the Henri. Wait, 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 it's Oni, maybe? That was some really quick blinks. Let's see. Is it Oni? Did it do an airball already? Okay, it's not Oni. I don't know what my hiding spot is actually. Do I have a hiding spot? Oh, I have this one. Okay, so much to go. Jesus Christ. Not an Oni. Yeah, this. I think we're gonna do our uh, our ghost guide soon because I really love talking about the ghosts and I have a lot of opinions on all of them. I think I, I could do like a tier list on what are the coolest ghosts, like in terms of abilities. Because there's definitely F tier ghosts and there's also S tier ghosts. Like I think the Thay is S tier, Mimic, just purely off of its cool be cool behaviors like S tier. Um, what other ghosts would be S tier? There's not a lot of S tier ghosts. The Twins, I think is S tier. Um, okay, so we know a lot of ghosts that it can't be. It can't be Thay, it can't be Dio. Can't be Moroi, can't be Raichu, can't be Hantu, can't be Yokai, can't be Revenant, uh, can't be Jin because it turned off the breaker, uh, can't be Oni, can't probably not be Shade because it, I don't think so, it did so many ghost events. Um, Demon, oh, I just need to go back in there to test for uh, Spirit. It's been 50 seconds, like a little, it's been like a minute, so in 30 seconds a ghost can hunt. What about Ghost Design at 24 times difficulty? The game should not be balanced around 24 times difficulty. That's ridiculous. That difficulty is... Oh my god. I'm dead. What the fuck? Okay, it's a demon? Actually? How is this a demon? I smudged it at 30? I think that hunted too early. Maybe? Normal speed? I think it's normal speed. So it's not the twins. Oh boy. Yeah, the smudge timer, I, it does not start at the end of the hunt. It starts as soon as you smudge it. So it's been already 40, it's been already 45 seconds. Because I smudged it right at the start of the hunt. So... It's probably not going to be too useful. But it could hunt now. Come on, please hunt. Please hunt within 30 seconds. That would make you obviously... A demon. Come on. 20 seconds. Hunt me. Wait, the break is still on. Oh, it broke that light. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it now. 10 seconds! Hunt me, you bitch! Do it! Wait, but it would use the crucifix, no? Come on. Do it! No! It can hunt now. I should really have another smudge stick in here. So I don't have to come back. This is definitely tricky. We're gonna have to set up some stuff down there, because... I mean, I don't know if it's still in the basement. Because it's roaming. Oh my god, my sanity is fucked up. Uh, put this in there. <clears throat> Can't be a demon that didn't hunt early. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to smudge it before I do anything crazy now. 
Guess I could smile. I want to just get a hunt. That's safer. It's it's safer to get a hunt. Lol. Gonna sit out here because your lighter also prevents hunts from uh, on Rio. So you can sit over here, get a hunt, or prevent the hunt with the with the lighter. Come on, give us a sign. Come on, ghosty pants. Are you still down here? I should really grab a thermo, but I'm a little scared because you're zero sanity. Oh, I think there was this here. <laughs> Remember back in the day when you didn't have the lighter noise, it would just turn off candles or the blowout noise. It would just be gone. Oh, it used a crucifix on top of the candle. Perfect. Not on Rio. That's good. I don't think it's this and this either, right? I could smudge it now. Already no. Let's try. I smudged it. Let's try if it's a. Uh... Is it the demon? So I smudged it at forty. How did that happen? Is it a banshee? <laughs> How the fuck? It's a banshee. <laughs> it's a banshee! What the hell? Where's my smudge? What are you doing here, naked man? How the fuck? Th so it must have a roaming ability, and the only ghosts that are left with a roaming ability are a banshee. There is no fucking way. It couldn't have used that crucifix at the door. It's gotta be a banshee. That's nuts. What a ghost, dude. That is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. That. <laughs> That crucifix actually might be the most <laughs> weird ass moment of all time. Because it can't be a demon. Can a demon do that? Like if it uses its ability on you, will it then stop the, sm the, the hunt? It might be a demon too. But I'm getting lots of singing ghost events now. It's not hunting for a while though. It could oh never mind then. Okay, sm It doesn't know. Pepe laugh. I'm gonna wait a little bit into the hunt. It doesn't know. Pepe laugh. Pepe laugh! <laughs> Alright, come over here, you little shit! Hey, you bitch, come up here. Okay, here we go. I have a smudge, right? Yes, okay. I was like, do I have a lighter? Okay, I smudged at 10 seconds, or like... It threw the potato. Okay. Stop hunting now. I really need you to stop hunting. It's been 10 seconds? Okay. 10 seconds, so let's, let's count very thoroughly. We need to see if it's a banshee or a demon. There's two ghosts it could be. I really- I need you to come over to me. If you come over to me, I can also rule out if it's a banshee or not. Yeah, 30 seconds already. Alright, come on. I can't really go down there because I can die. And she seems more likely. It's definitely kind of weird, though. Oh my god, it's such a banshee. It's a banshee. <laughs> you motherfucker. Okay, 60 seconds are over. If it's a demon, it can now hunt. Banshee might genuinely be one... Like... Ge banshee might be, like, eight tier. I think the go- Why do you take offense to that? I said you were A tier. 
<laughs> I think any ghost can hunt now. Oh my god! Uh, I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. This ghost's crazy. This is so good. <laughs> I love this ghost. Alrighty, that's gotta be Banshee. That crucifix? Actually the wildest thing that's ever happened. My my mind was blown. <laughs> These ghosts were tough, man. These were the, like we had a few freebies, like the the gin and the and the mimic, but we had a lot of tough ghosts. And mostly correct, except the first one, surprisingly enough. There you go. That was the Banshee. So the Banshee roamed to me. So what happens with the crucifix? Let me just go over it before you have no idea what happened. The, the Banshee roamed to my location using its... How many abilities? Okay, this is bugged. Because it... There's no way that it used the crucifix without using the ability. So I guess the count of the ability is bugged, which there's a lot of counts that are bugged. Um, so it roamed to me using the hidden ability um, where the ghost can pick the target and roam to the target at anywhere they are, where wherever they are on the map. And then it used, it started a hunt from that location. So as soon as I came into the map, it set like a waypoint to my location. It walked there. Then it tried to hunt from that location, went back to the ghost room, and continued normally from there. Uh, so it that was crazy. So it, <laughs> in that 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 was when I found that crucifix, my mind was blown. But anyway, that is gonna be it. Where we, uh, how many ghost room changes? No favorite ghost room changes. Uh, mostly in the ghost room as well. So yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you had a good time. Hope you learned some new stuff. Let me know what you think about the ghost. Would love to hear your opinion. Would you be interested in like a? I mean, obviously, the ghost guide is something that I'm going to do pretty soon, uh, as well as a maybe a ghost tier list in terms of fun. Like, what are the most cool, cool ghosts in the game? Uh, like, well-designed. I think I might do something like that. But anyway, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us right at twitch.tv slash Every single day at 7 p.m. Century p.m. Thank you very much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye, guys.